we will discuss the binary decoders in this video. So when we talk about a decoder different than what we have been doing, it has its inputs but it also has multiple outputs. So you have now more than one output. And the idea is basically only one output is selected at one time. So you can treat this function as some sort of a like a channeling if you have a system like this you have different outlets it you can think about like a river so this is your let's say your lake and these are your your river and you don't want all of them at the same time so you only want to steer the water into one direction so you can choose one of them if we were doing this with you know numbers let's say this is channel uh, 0, channel 1, channel 2 and channel 3 you can associate some binary numbers since there are only four numbers we can express it with two digits 10 and 11 one. so this way whichever channel is selected you can steer the water into that direction so we have two different uh, options to 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 create this as a truth table so let's do one of them let's say a and b are are our inputs and we have the four outputs so as we always do we create our truth table this side and for zero zero you can see from here from the previous page zero zero you select C zero channel zero so only that channel is going to be one and the others are going to be zero and when it's zero one that means it's the channel 1 is going to be selected so I'm going to put only channel 1 to 1 and same goes like this so you can see that only one output is enabled so we enable output this way and you you can see that our when an uh, uh, output is active an active output the output is active that means your output is one we sometimes also use instead of one we say hi so there are different decoders so this is an active high decoder that we're talking but there is also a possibility to have a active active low decoder in this case everything is same in terms of forming the truth table but this time because it is active low I'm gonna write it here this is active low then since this is going to be selected it's selected by setting it to zero so only one output is zero if your decoder is an active low decoder and again this one is an active high 
where your output is selected by setting it to 1 and the other one is uh, by setting it uh, to 0 active active high 